passed the, anyone, anyone, the tariff bill, anyone raised or lowered, raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the federal government. Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? It did not work, and the United States sank deeper into the Great Depression. Today, we have a similar debate over this. Anyone know what this is? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Blake. What? Do you want to go to war, Malaki? No. Because we could go to war. No. I'm for real. I'm for real. So you better check yourself. Get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your ass. Insubordinate. And churlish. Education is based on, not diversity, but conformity. Part of the problem is, I think, that the culture of, uh, the dominant culture of education has come to focus on not teaching and learning, but testing. In the banking concept of education, words are emptied of their meaning and become a hollow, alienating verbosity. Non-participatory lectures are commonplace, and teaching for the test is what is most important. The more a teacher can fill the heads of her students with facts for mass memorization, the better a teacher she is thought to be. And the more meekly the students take in, memorize, and regurgitate the ideas, the better the students are seen as. Education thus becomes solely an act of depositing information in which the teacher is the depositor and the students, regretfully, the depositories. Unfortunately, the more students work at storing the hollow deposits of information and conforming to the ideas of their oppressors, the less that they are able to develop critical analytical skills and the more their creativity is destroyed. So what should effective educating and teaching actually look like? Teaching is a creative profession. Teaching properly conceived is not a delivery system. You know, you're not there just to pass on received information. Great teachers do that. But what great teachers also do is mentor, stimulate, provoke, engage. You see, in the end, education is about learning. If there's no learning going on, there's no education going on. In Problem Posing Education, Freire proposed that people reject the educational goals of depositing information in order to teach for the test. Instead, he said education should embody creativity, human interaction, communication, and acts of cognition. The teacher becomes no longer merely the one who teaches, but also one who is taught in dialogue with the students. Conversely, the students become not only the ones to be taught, but also the ones to teach. For example, the teacher presents the material to the students for their consideration. Then, through discussion, both parties are willing to reconsider their earlier thoughts as individuals express ideas and beliefs of their own. The roles of both student and teacher become that of both discoverer and creator, with both of them coming to see the world not as a static reality, but as a reality in process and in transformation. But the question is, how do we go about instituting something like this in our educational systems today? You take an area, a school, a district, you change the conditions, give people a different sense of possibility, a different set of expectations, a broader range of opportunities. You cherish and value the relationships between teachers and learners. You offer people the discretion to be creative and to innovate in what they do. And schools that were once bereft spring to life. This sounds easy and wonderful, but how do I, as an individual student, actually help to make a difference in my college? First, a person needs to decide what they are unhappy with and what they want to change. Next, they need to come up with ideas and goals of how to bring about these changes. Then, the individual needs to get active in school programs, clubs, and student government. During this process, we, the students, need to be willing to find our voice so that we can share our thoughts and opinions. You need to begin to speak up and let it be known that you care about your education, that you want quality education, and, and begin to 
define what that means for you and your friends. Great education is uh, without question the biggest fight that I think we're facing and it's one that I'm willing to fight down to the end.